How you doing folks? It's Ron Grovers from Ron's Beers and Tools. I have a beer to showcase today. And the beer we'll be reviewing is from Single Cut Beer Smiths. Not brewery, they call themselves Beer Smiths. In Astoria, New York. As you can see in front of you, it's called Half Stack IPA. A 6.6% alcohol by volume. Uh, this brewery in, in, is in Queens, New York. Astoria is a little section of uh, Queens, New York, which is, if you're familiar with New York, uh, I don't go there all that much, but uh, Queens is at the very beginning of Long Island, if you're going from left to right. Uh, most times, uh, people are going from Connecticut down, and they uh, go by boat, and they travel by land on uh, Long Island. You're going from <laughs> east to west, which would be from right to left. But anyways, uh, if you're looking at Long Island, Astoria is on the... Very left part on the very top of Queens, the northwest part of Queens, I guess where I would say is where Astoria, New York is. And this brewery is located at 19-33, 37th Street, Astoria, New York. Again, that's the Queens section of New York, on Long Island. Um, phone number there is 718-606-0788. In case you're inclined... To want to go there, you might want to call first and get the hours and make sure that they're open. Uh, the founder on this uh, brewery, or beer so they call themselves, the brewer is Rich Bucetta, B-U-C-E-T-A. I hope I'm saying that correct, uh, since 2012. Let's see if we got some words on the brewery. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Single Cup Beer Smiths was founded by Queens, New York City born, music-obsessed brewer, Rich Bucetta, B-U-C-E-T-A, whose lifelong passion led to a place where hops and vinyl could shine side by side. <laughs> I like that. I like music and I like hops and making beer. After years of home brewing and professional stints around New York City, Rich was true to his dreams in diving headfirst into the brewing world. I've never had any of their brews, so I'm looking forward to this IPA. Uh, he, he basically uh, was you know, musician and tra in, in, a professional and, uh, and all along through New York and his obsession was to make beer. He was making home brews and so forth. So he jumped into it. Uh, okay, back to what he's saying in so many words. He was distinguished by a firm respect and admiration for West Coast pioneers and bending that to our East Coast New York City interpretation. So I just given the handle to the Seattle and the scenes out on the West Coast uh, on the beers what they've done. Uh, since opening in 2012, and with the help of an equally talented and devoted team, Single Cut has gained a loyal following throughout the East Coast. That's good. In the most respected markets, all of the East Coast respected markets, it's got a name there. With his steadfast determination for the perfect pint, <laughs> Sound a little bit English there in England. Rich penned, mastery knows no shortcut. That's true. If you're going to do something well, don't take any shortcuts. Do it to the utmost you can. Mastery knows no shortcuts. As a single cut mission statement, it boils down to always demanding greatness, never compromising, and always play it at maximum volume. So he's blending the music with the, uh, the home brewing there, or the brewing. Correct? He's no longer a home brewer. And uh, so, like I say, uh, they were basic. The hours are uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I guess no Monday, Tuesday, and uh, most times close at uh, midnight. But Sunday nights, it's 9 p.m. They close, and they roughly open around from 4 p.m. or 6 p.m. And uh, Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m. in the morning. So, uh, but I'd call first if you've gotten the number, and. Uh, so what they're saying too also is, well, let me, let's take a look at this beer. Uh, I got up uh, early this morning and uh, Sunday today, nice day today, and uh, decided I'd do some hiking. I grabbed my uh, hiking stick and uh, did some hiking. So I worked up at Thirst, and uh, <laughs> as you can see, I got the drink to satisfy it. Okay, so no further ado. We got us a glass here. Let's take a look at what this... Uh, Fine sounding, at least fine sounding uh, IPA will be like. These, this ale sounds really good. Okay, we got us a glass. 
Okay. Yeah, this is the one. <laughs> How he shows up. Trust the pig. I don't know if you can read it. This guy comes from Rockingham County up there. It's basically Derry, New Hampshire, where Rockingham County is, where the Rockingham racetrack is. Okay. My loving number one son and his sweetheart gave me that on Father's Day. All right, no further ado. Let's look at the can. Uh, this was brewed 31st of January of this year. They got a little tab here that's a single cut. Single cut, Queens, New York, single cut beer smiths. Half, oh, oh, okay, I have to call it Billy's. Billy's Half Craft IPA is created from a brewmaster's recipe, honed, in, honed to perfection over the span of many years. An extreme, an, an entire, <laughs> Excuse me, I'm reading this on an angle. An entirely original combination of PNW and Australian hops totaling 105 international bid units. Single Cut Beer Smith is proud to maintain the American tradition of beer locally made from, cra from craft. I don't know if I'm reading that correct. <laughs> American tradition of beer locally made from craft by zealots. Lunatics. <laughs> <laughs> craft by zealots slash lunatics who believe hard work, truth, pride, and passion always should come before profit. I go along with those words, definitely. Uh, hard work, truth, pride, passion come before profit. Drink ASAP in a clean, wide mouthed glass, store cold and upright, unfiltered, pour carefully. I right, will do a good pour, pour on this for their sakes. They, they really uh, sound like they made a good brew here. Mastery knows no shortcuts. And uh, I got that some one of their uh, logos in a way. Rolf pen? Raw? <laughs> uh, pull pens? I'm being the correct. Says, says, come visit the brewery. All right. Okay, I'll leave that so if you can uh, pause it and maybe make it bigger. Okay, no further ado. Let's uh, see what this looks like, and I'm excited to try it. Well, see the water vapor is coming out. Oh, getting a hint of southern. Oh yeah, a hint of the hop in this. Got 105 international bid units in this. Now, uh, beer experts say, fill it to that pot there on the glass, and then the straight pot will let the aromas, flavors, and gases burst out and equalize the brew. Kind of murky. Some people would call it dank. <laughs> I guess oh, words you choose. I'm being a wordsmith. And, um, that was kind of danky. Uh, well, it's got a, a nose to this now. Oh, geez. Oh, sweetness comes out, really. I was going to say hops, but it's a sweet hoppiness. I mean, it definitely did pour as far as hazy, golden. Did have a, a white head on it. True white head. The retention wasn't too long, but the head is sticking to the side of the glass. If that means anything. But anyways, uh, let's get the aroma again. Yeah, that citrus. Hop, nice, nice aroma. It's not a harsh hoppiness at all. Grapefruit. Yep, grapefruit kind of aroma. Tropical fruits. Semi-sweet smell. Some biscuity, malty smell. Back, back to the tropical aroma. Okay. No further ado, I'll give it a taste. I'm dying to try this. As I'm kind of parched from uh, hiking this morning. Uh, bottoms up. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. This is a New England juice bomb. New York has made a New England juice bomb. Another 
New England uh, brewery, uh, New York brewery making a, a nice juice bomb, really nice. Smooth maltiness, first comes across, some pine, um, tangerine. Mm. Excuse my lip smacking, and my slurping. Pineapple, kind of like a hot sweet flavor. It's not really a hoppiness flavor, I should say. A grainy bit. Juicy hops that you get that kind of sweet flavor. Mm. Yeah, that juicy hopness of sweetness is because they've blended the malt and the hops so well. A little bit of hoppiness right then. Kind of a dry finish. Very dry, very dry, going away. A mango flavor. Mm. This is a very good ale, and I'm enjoying it immensely. This is definitely a New England juice bomb, and I am really uh, drink enjoying it. <coughs> Excuse me. It's very drinkable. Would I get it again? Yes, I would. I would get it many times again. Uh, it's very enjoyable. And uh, a lot of things to go with these New England juice bombs. A lot of food pairings. They don't give a food pairings on the page here, their web page. But um, it is very, very uh, drinkable. So um, I'm enjoying it. I'm liking it. Mm. Some hot business Quick, quickly fades away as the uh, maltiness flavor comes in, and it's surely a smooth flavor. Mm. Definitely, uh, definitely well, well brewed beer. If I can get uh, the angle on the camera correctly here. We'll give this a, another pour. Like being at a, a tavern and the bartender pours, pours another nice looking brew. Murkiness again, or the haziness, however you call it. We call it being dank. Nice, cure white head. Let's get the drone up. It's gonna. Alright. Oh, that looks good. It looks creamy around the edge, even though there's different bubble sizes that have come up. It does look good. That truly is a good looking head. White, awfully white. And it's a good looking beer, or ale, I should say. This is unfiltered, so I don't know if you can pick up on this. People would call it, it was a debris, <laughs> but it's not. It's meant to be in there. Can you pick up on the sediment in here? Excuse me. Excuse me. Beer Advocate gave this a 4.13 out of 5, saying it's exceptional. I have to agree on that because, oh, where'd the camera lady go? Oh, okay. We've got the film. I want to take a look at this can. Uh, yeah, see right here. Unfiltered. Pour care carefully. Oh, uh, I do like their can. Uh, I really never paid really cared for the cheapness of how this looks. I know uh, well, the Trillium Brewery has the same thing. They stick these stickers on these cans. And uh, kind of non-professional to me, but I don't know. It's not my business. Okay, I wanted to see this character here. Rawls Pin says, 
Come visit the brewery. Single cut. All right, yes, Miss. All right, that's um, a nice can uh, for what it is. Okay, I can't complain. I'm really trying not to complain. Just giving you the views at the moment. They do change. <laughs> all right. Uh, sediment and all. Bottoms up. Mmm. That truly is a New England IPA. Um, half stack IPA with 6.6% alcohol by volume and 105 international bid units. Uh, Mr. Rich Bucetta, B U C E T A, I salute you. You've uh, brewed a fine brew here. And I bet a lot of your other ones that you, uh, other styles and so forth, uh, are just as well. So, uh, basically, with that said, folks, uh, enjoy the day. It's, uh, like I said, it's Sunday here today. It's sunny. We have a nice day in uh, New England. Uh, snow's all gone. A lot of the parking lots have lost their big pile of the snow the other day. I think it's about, ooh, probably 43, 44 degrees here. It's windy, though. Um, I was working, walking uh, this morning. And uh, hiking, I should say, and it was an enjoyable day. It was really, uh, really nice. I take off my little jacket that I had on. Uh, but anyways, we won't go over that story. Uh, so, folks, uh, have a good day. If you're gonna drink, drink responsibly, and don't drive. I want to thank all the military veterans for what you've done. Ciao. Bottoms up. Hmm. Mm-mm. There goes the drone.